what kind of a car show would this be without hot girls? Because let's face it, a car looks that much better with a pretty girl standing next to it. So we're going to meet these models, see what they know about cars and find out if girls and cars really mix. There are a lot of guys here and you're a very pretty girl standing next to a very pretty car. How many times do people ask for your phone number? It's not necessarily the phone number, it's more of do you come with the car? Okay. You can ask anybody, <laughs> even guys will tell you that some ladies have come up to them and be like, do you come with that car? Are you, and what do you say to that? It depends. Each person has their own little thing. I got to keep my secrets to myself though. Well, it is a man's world here, yeah. so I have to ask, how many people have tried to give you their numbers? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> well, we're only on press day number two, right. but that doesn't mean it hasn't happened already. <laughs> what about yesterday? How many numbers were you offered? Uh, I've been given business cards, maybe maybe about five or six yesterday. Do people ask if you come with the car? All the time, and they always think they're original too. <laughs> so I give them the little, ah, ha, ha, I've never heard that before. What's the worst comment anyone's ever said to you at a car show? Oh, gosh, I don't even know if I can say that on here. Yeah, you can say it. <laughs> um, I'm picturing you naked in front of this car right now. I'm definitely <laughs> probably the worst and one. And how do you respond to that? Uh, just, I don't. <laughs> I don't. I have to bite my tongue on that one. You are a piece of eye candy next to a beautiful car, and there's a lot of men here. Tell me, how many times do people ask for your phone number? A couple times. I also get, of course, my favorite question. Can you guess what that is? Do you come with the car? That's right. Do I come with the car? And uh, I say only with limited edition vehicles. Do you really A say select that? few. I change it up sometimes. Or do they laugh at you or are they persistent? They do sometimes. They just kind of laugh. Or I'll say, that's the first time I've heard that. And they'll say, really? And I'm, no. <laughs> Can you teach me like one of the favorite poses? Like I see you up here all day kind of posing, but what's your signature pose? Um, let's see. Signature pose. I guess I, I do a little mirror with a little yeah, here, so. you know. Is there a face? Like, do you look at the customer? Um, I usually smile. Everyone likes a smile. It's warming. Absolutely. You know? Now, I've just noticed your beautiful heels, stilettos. Thank You're you. standing all day. Yes. What's the secret to you not falling over? It's mental. Mental? Yes. My feet right now, although they look like they're in these high heels, they are on a beach. My toes are wiggling in sand. How do you go about smiling for six hours next to a car? Is that hard? No, it's not hard. If you like your car and you like the company and you like what you're doing, of course it's going to make you happy. And then you're just going to smile to smile. But what's the hardest part of your job? Standing here all day, having people look at you? Uh, the hardest part is definitely the putting in the long hours, standing in heels. Um, sometimes it can be really cold. <laughs> but other than that, I mean, I'm a people person, so I love to talk to people and... And I think it becomes a mental, a mental game after a little while, mind over matter. <laughs> Is there a tricks of the trades of kind of smiling and looking pretty all day? Yeah, just in general kind of being personable and yes, lots of smiling. At the end of the day, sometimes you feel like your uh, cheeks are permanently stuck in a little smile like this. <laughs> so that's tricky, but yeah, you just kind of have to... You have to keep the persona going, yeah. We've been interviewing pretty models all day and they're girls, but I've been told that there's a male model down here at Ram. So we're going to find him. Apparently his name is Louise and he's Italian. Fine, thank you. Look at this gender equality that. going on here. <laughs> okay, Louise, finally some eye candy for me. A male model at the show. How does it feel to be a male model with a sea of females? It does feel really good. You know, you do feel like a little bit like exclusive. And it's nice when, you know, the women do come up and ask me the same questions that they ask the girl, which is, do you come with the truck? Do they so, say yeah, that yeah. So it's nice to hear, you know, it makes you feel good. Do you get a lot of phone numbers? Uh, I don't because I'm married. Oh, that's so. what they all say, I bet. Yes, yes. <laughs> but uh, my wife definitely would not appreciate it. And it is kind of a male-dominated show. There's a lot of men walking around. When they see you at the front, do they go, oh. You know, it's funny, like I was saying, the women come up and they're excited and they ask me that question and the guys always say, where's the girl? Yeah. So, it, Where's the girl? We need a girl. Yeah, they went like, where's the girl? You know, are, are you going to be wearing heels or anything? So it's, it's funny, you know, you got to take it both ways. And how do the female models treat you? Are they kind of jealous that you're on their turf at all? No, you know what? My team here, I have to say, they're all great. They're all a lot of fun. And it's just, I've been doing it now for seven years. So it's great. Wow. We have a, yeah, we have a really great team. And yeah, and we all just like to work with each other. Can you show me your best Zoolander face? How was that? Perfect. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Lewis.